In today's video, we are going to see how to parameterize a test object value. The purpose of parameterizing a test object value is to test the object with different data sets. Say for example, H2K Emphasis has multiple departments, recruiting, training, training payments, human resources, and every employee logs into the system every morning. The login process itself is the same, but every employee might have a different user ID. So how are we going to test it? We basically parameterize the test object with multiple values to see how the application is responding. Let's see how to do it on UFT. Let's open a pre-recorded test script or record a new test script if you already do not have a pre-recorded test script. If you do not know how to record a test script, you may watch our video on how to record a test script on UFT. Let's launch UFT and open a test script. Launching UFT, hit continue, say OK. And now let's open a pre-recorded test script. Go to File, Open, Test, and open How to Record Test Script. And once the script is open, let's go to the Keyword View and select the object for which the value needs to be changed. We are selecting agent name. Go to value and on the corner, if you go click, there will be a little arrow or brackets. Click on uh, that little button. So you will see this little box which says value configuration options. And it has two different fields. One says constant and the other one says parameter. Let's select parameter and change the name of the parameter to p underscore agent name and hit OK. And once you hit OK, you will most likely see the data page underneath, underneath your page. If you do not, then go to view and click on data so what you will actually see is a is a page which looks like an excel sheet on which you can give multiple values let's say the first one is test 1 the second value is test 2 and the third value is test 3 so let's run the script with three different values so what is going to happen is the application is going to run it three different times or what we call it as iterations in UFT. Let's go see the results. It actually ran the test two times since we only gave two um, values, test one and test two. So on the right hand side it says two iterations passed and when you click on the left hand side so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. 
The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.